All right, welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. Let's just go and get a message. I wasn't trying to do 10 minutes, but we got to figure out what's the message. Holy Spirit, God Almighty, what message you have for the person that's going to watch this channel today? This TikTok. They need some confirmation, some closures. Woo! All right, here we go, guys. Okay, breathe. Breathe talks about meditation. Meditation. Okay, God is trying to communicate through, uh, could possibly th be through your dreams. Maybe you need to meditate. Maybe you need to rest. You could be working a lot. Okay, you are exchanging gifts. Exchanging gifts is basically giving and receiving, right? Or you may have gifts, psychic gifts. So you need to preserve your gifts or maybe you need to rest. You may have been been doing a lot. I've been picking that up. So, I can't ever say this word. Serendipity. Okay, so Spirit is saying... When you use your gifts, this is where your luck is going to change. When you decide to exchange your gifts here and now. Okay. So, some of y'all may need to meditate, tap in, get in, tapped in, tune in with the Most High. So that you can start using your psychic gifts. Okay. Going with the flow of the universe. Okay. Staying, being confident, staying poised. Okay and balance yourself out right so these are things that yin divine feminine you need to do we handle both worlds both the earth and the ethers right so it is a balance between both worlds spirit also is giving a sign to mend things okay mend things with your person who are we talking about That's what she said. the divine master land okay he wants to mend things with you or spirit is saying, Divine Masculine, you do need to take action. I've been getting this. Take action. Take action. Take action. You may be somewhere where it's a lot of chaos, confusion, strife. Okay? And you're watching your Divine Feminine from the background. She could have a channel. She could be just on Facebook. You're just in the background watching Divine Masculine. You're peeping and looking at it, but you ain't doing nothing. Spirit is saying, tick-tock, tick-tock. That's what she said. It's time to communicate with the universe. So you can get your blessings. Okay, this is a blessed connection, guys. So you need to not abandon it. Okay, else you're going to be in never-ending karma. Round and round and round with these karmic cycles. Knowing that you not you have not finished so this is basically saying the universe is saying listen guys y'all done this over and over and over and over and over and over and over life last lifetime lifetime before that lifetime before that it's a never ending story y'all break up y'all get back together y'all break up spirit is saying it's time to mend this this is not over okay this is a spiritual partnership. It's eternal love. It's time to end those old cycles. God is taking out the trash. We need to take out the trash. Divine masculine, you need to take out your trash. Divine feminine, you need to take out yours. Okay, and understand, be flexible with the divine because a message is coming for you. This person right now is just stuck. They don't know which direction they want to take. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, whoever, I read energy. So take it how it go. You could be Divine Masculine waiting on the Divine Feminine. You could be Divine Feminine waiting on your Divine Masculine, however it go. Purpose is, Spirit is saying, once you get to your community, your soul family, your per your person that you truly love, That's what she said. this is when your new life will begin. Okay? It's time to go. That's what she said. It's time to go to your home. That's what she said. And it's not for you to be with these fake love karmics, these people that just are around you for material gain. It's all about money. 
You have a true divine, higher calling, higher power that the divine has blessed you with. That is going to be very, very happy collective. But again, it's faded. It is written for you to have this. God wants to bless it to you. So you need to take a leap with your soulmate. You do. It may not seem like it right now, guys. I know. But you got to use your imagination. That's what she said. Okay? Find out the why. Why do I think about my person so much? Why do I still love my person after all these years? Why am I still trying to work so much and not think about this person? Why is I'm always watching her channels? Why am I always watching his channels? Why am I always talking? It's because you are realizing that all that glitters is not gold. You're tired of the fake shit, the fake love, the fake smiles, the fake sex, the fake this, the fake that. You want someone that's going to truly, truly do it by the book, okay? But you need to rest and meditate and connect with the source so that you can start building a true foundation. That's what she said. Okay? Because you know what you need to do. And you guys are just sitting there going round and round and round doing what if. What if I should have, would have, could have? I am so much regret. I'm very intimidated. You're in your head. You got to get out your head. Stop thinking so much and tap into your heart. Your heart, your soul knows exactly what to do. Okay? It knows who you are supposed to be with. A lot of times these connections is our soul already recognized the person that we're supposed to be with, guys. It's our ego and it's our, you know, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes your, your, your mate hurt you or whatever the case may be, right? So it's your ego, you, you're having a hard time forgiving, but divine feminine, divine masculine, that is your part in your journey to learn how to forgive, right? And on the masculine side, he's stuck in his ego. He may have a lot of addictions, player ways, things he got to get rid of. So part of his journey is cutting out things that do not serve him and not be people pleasing and allowing people to take advantage or him taking advantage of others so he go there that every way so they got to learn the fact of to be humble and accept who they truly are and to love themselves right and to be loyal to one person that's what she said spiritual marriage is loyalty to your person only so that you can have a new life it's not loyalty to two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Okay? It's not going to work like that. Okay? I know that's how society, the matrix, wants you to believe that having multiple women is okay and, and all that. But in all reality, in a spiritual partnership, it may be okay for the matrix and the karmics, right? But it's not okay for God in a true divine partnership. It is to people and divine masculine divine feminine if y'all not willing to be with your person you will get booted out the way and it will be someone else to take advantage if you are a twin flame depending on what your twin flame did hopefully your twin flame didn't do the most but if they did which is with which death on you then at this point they're not coming back right you will be getting a higher level soulmate so it just all depends on y'all journey and where y'all in, in stages of your life. You know your story. But five of pentacles. Bottom line is, guys, these twin flames that are meant to be together, as long as y'all are not together, you're not going to be abundant. I mean, that's the real truth of the matter. Right? So as long as this person keep running, they're going to always be broke. Okay, as long as they're keeping their heart cold, being immature, page of wands, not wanting to grow up and take action, yeah, being unstable, not wanting to give and receive, they're going to be keeping themselves stuck. Exactly, Ace of Pentacles. You want your blessing, yeah. Well, God can't bless you if you're having secret lovers, okay? Some of y'all, this person paid to do some spell work, and that's the truth that I speak. That's what she said. Okay? 
this person is also getting clarity of who actually was a part.